Business Workshop 6, Recording 1. One of the success stories out of Africa recently has been that of Joseph Ndege, who's built a successful construction business with strong ethical principles. He's famous for his charity work and support of the underprivileged in his country. However, recent newspaper reports claim that funds destined for educational purposes have disappeared and found their way into local businessmen's pockets. This kind of corruption is something that Mr Ndege has strongly criticised all his working life. So, to understand the situation better, I've been talking to a local journalist, Precious Otieno. Yes, thank you. I've now spoken to several people involved with Mr Ndege. One was Eunice Mazula, who is CEO of an educational charity here called Happy Ed, which Mr Ndege has supported for many years. Ms Mazula pointed out to me that they have managed to build several schools and give thousands of children an education, and that many of these children wouldn't have had an education without the funding from Mr Ndege. And has everyone you've spoken to been so positive about Mr Ndege, Precious? No, absolutely not. I also spoke to two of AF Homes employees about their experience working for the company, Julius and Nkomo. Julius has worked for AF Homes for 10 years. He began by saying that the company had always paid staff well and looked after their families. However, two months ago, he was transferred to the Dodoma project. And since then, he hasn't been paid and is naturally becoming very worried. Nkomo is employed as a carpenter by AF Homes, working on the houses here in Dodoma. He claims that the worksite isn't safe and that there have been several accidents. The company also promised to pay for his kids to go to school, but he hasn't received anything they promised so far. Like many others, though, Nkoma can't leave because he needs the job and the money. Aha. Uh -huh. So, a mixed picture locally. And I think you've also received a statement from the Land Conservation Agency. Is that right? Yes. The Land Conservation Agency has been very quick to support Mr Ndege and their joint partnership. Their statement says that despite recent negative press reports, they would like to assure the public that their involvement in the Dodoma project was agreed because they believe that this is the best way of protecting our environment and wildlife for future generations. Furthermore, they have every confidence in Mr Ndege whose actions have always been above board and ethical, and they believe that any investigation will bear this out. Hmm. And breaking news is just coming in. Apparently, the AF Homes Dodoma project has been closed down while the government investigates accusations of wrongdoing and unethical business practices. This is a severe blow for Joseph Ndege, the flag-bearer for ethical business in Africa. <laughs> 